Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my very favorite winter hiking products. The first piece of winter gear I'm going to talk about today are my micro spikes. And these are just the traction devices I put on my feet so I don't slip and slide on the compacted snow or ice. I use these a lot more than I actually use snowshoes because the trails around me are oftentimes already packed down. If there was a ton of fresh powder, I would opt for snowshoes. But honestly, most of the time, my micro spikes are sufficient. And because they're so small, I almost always keep them in my car and then sometimes just throw them in my backpack even if I'm not sure I'm gonna need them. <sighs> We're getting the kids in their layers and it's really cold. And my problem is my hands, when they get cold, it's really hard to warm them back up. But my friend Brighton taught me a trick. Can you just swing your arm really hard? Whew, it gets the blood flowing back to your hands and it actually works. So I'm gonna do that before I put my gloves on. I'm gonna start hiking and I'm gonna show you a few more of my favorite winter hiking products. So we're on a hike today up one of our favorite canyons. It's beautiful blue skies, but absolutely freezing. So perfect day to put our winter gear to use. So today we're hiking with the kids. Logan's wearing jean and Kirk is walking. And then we got Summit, of course. This is an off-leash trail, which are my favorite. The next item I wanna talk about is some kind of buff. I have two different kinds here and I use and love them both. This one is merino wool and this one's actually a kid's one. I forgot to bring mine, but a buff is just so versatile. Okay, I just threw on the fleece one and this is just keeps my neck extra warm. There's no draft coming down my jacket. I can pull it up over my nose and mouth if it's really windy, just super nice and versatile. I love fleece and merino wool. The cotton ones, when you're breathing into them, they kind of get moist and then they just get wet and make you more cold so this is a kids one and I love these thin ones because you can kind of make them into different shapes this one I kind of turned into a beanie there's just a lot of uses for a buff let's talk some emergency gear especially for the winter I mean these are great year-round but hand warmers I use these on a lot of my hikes because my hands are just so cold. They're in and out of my gloves, getting snacks for the kids, adjusting buckles. I love to have hand warmers with me. And then another piece of emergency gear that I have yet to use on a hike, but it would be very handy is an emergency blanket. You can kind of see it's just this silver, thin sheet of material and you would just wrap this around yourself. It's extremely lightweight, but it reflects your heat back and really helps keep you warm. So I'm actually gonna break into these hand warmers right now, let them warm up and stick them in my mittens because my hands are just so cold. I do have Raynaud's and it makes a big difference to have some kind of external heat source. Crack these suckers open, pack out the trash. And I'm just gonna shake it just for a second. Pop it in, and those should be warm in like five minutes. That's gonna make a big difference for me. Let's talk my sit pad. I love this thing, especially for winter hiking. This is just a little piece of foam pad that I like to sit on. I use it when I'm nursing my baby, when I'm uh, laying her down for a diaper change, or just to sit on myself. It's so nice to stay warm when I'm sitting on the ground. Along with uh, other emergency gear, I do like to bring multiple forms of fire starter. So a lighter, of course. And then this is a ferro rod with some fire starter. I really should have it in a waterproof bag, but something like cotton balls when soaked in Vaseline or dryer lint, just to help you get that fire started. While you hope you're never in an emergency situation where you have to make your own fire to survive, it's still an important thing that you should be prepared for. So I do like to keep two forms. This is my ferro rod necklace. It's got the striker and the ferro rod right here. It's kind of cool. You can just wear it around your neck. Okay, we're just taking a little break on the trail. Kirk has been hiking a lot and doing so good, but he asked for a break. One of my favorite things to do on the trail with the kids to help motivate him to hike is to tell stories. So right now he loves Jack and the Beanstalk and Little Red Riding Hood, so. Oh, Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. Have, a, have a one more story. One more story. I just love winter hiking. The snow is so beautiful on the trees. The sun peeking through the trees, making the, like, the snow glisten. It's just so quiet. There's not as many people on the trail. It's just one of my very favorite times of year to hike. So this next item is not winter specific by any means. It's sunscreen, but it is something that's often forgotten because you just don't think 
love needing sunscreen in the winter, but uh, it's actually really important. The sun reflects off the snow and can give you a really nice burn. So I don't always carry sunscreen with me. A lot of times I just apply it before we start our hike, but if it's a longer one or I'm thinking we might need to reapply, I'll just throw it in my bag. In the winter, I'll squeeze them out and warm it up in my hands first before applying it. It just applies a little better on me and makes the kids happier. The last essential I'm gonna talk about for winter hiking is not a specific product, but it's just making sure you're dressed appropriately. So I have a whole video on what me and my kids wear, but basically skip cotton, use um, materials like merino wool, bamboo, or something synthetic like polyester. Those are gonna be moisture wicking and keep you drier. And then layering. Don't just put on a t-shirt and a big puffy coat because either your options are being too hot or probably too cold. So layers today I have on. I have my merino wool base layer with a fleece with my jacket so I could take layers off, add them on depending on the temperature. And yeah, dressing appropriately is just gonna make your winter hikes so much more enjoyable. Alrighty, we're just taking a little snack break. My toddler's running around eating some snow. We made it as far as we're gonna come up. We have this beautiful overlook. We're gonna drink some water and then hike back down. We're hiking and we see a woodpecker just off the side of the trail. So cool. It's black and white on that tree. Do you see it? Where is it? It's kind of cool, buddy, huh? Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about the winter hiking products I talked about, let me know in the comments and I'll have everything linked in the description. But anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.